Brady wins his seventh Super Bowl, his first away from Bill Belichick, which is what we wanted to talk about with our first topic. He leaves New England with many people saying that he wanted to prove that he can win on his own, that he wasn't respected by New England, and he wanted to win a Super Bowl on his all on his own. And the whole entire offseason last year, the debate was, was Belichick or Brady the reason that the New England Patriots won six Super Bowls? Good debate. And as of right now, if you look at it, Tom Brady's winning that debate. Tom Brady has proven that he can win without Bill Belichick. But are we ready to close that chapter 100% and just give the keys to Tom Brady and say, yes, you were the sole reason why the Patriots were so successful? First off, let me say, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm a big Tom Brady fan. I love, I've been watching Tom Brady for a very long time. I've been watching football since 2006, so I grew up watching Tom Brady in, on the New England Patriots when he had that amazing, uh, what could have been an undefeated season, thrown for 50 touchdowns, win that NFL MVP when he was the unanimous NFL MVP uh, in 2010, 36 touchdowns to four interceptions, go to conference championship after conference championship after conference championship, Tom Brady, greatest quarterback of all time. And if you don't agree, you're emotionally hurt. You're letting your emotions get to you. Just look at the facts. Look at the statistics. Look at the accomplishments. Okay, take your emotions out of it. I don't know whether you're Peyton Manning homer. I don't know if you love Joe Montana so much. I don't know if you're an oldie and you love those old school quarterbacks like Dan Marino, Terry Bradshaw, and all those people. None of them compare to Tom Brady and what he's done in the NFL. So first off, to preface, Tom Brady, you have to admit this, is the greatest quarterback of all time. So look at me. Do you admit it? All right, good. Now that you admit it, let's get into this debate. Greatest quarterback of all time, but we can't close the chapter in this book just yet. We can't come out and say that Tom Brady is the sole reason that the Patriots have been so successful just yet. It's trending that way. But as of right now, it's looking like we may need to see yet one more season from both, from Belichick with the Patriots and Brady with the Bucks, before we can make an inclusive decision on that. The reason I say that is because I believe, to just get it out there first, Something about Bill Belichick being the greatest quarterback of all time or being the greatest coach of all time and Tom Brady being the greatest quarterback of all time, mixing together was a perfect marriage that just worked. It worked so well. And if you take one away from the other, then one's going to suffer. Maybe it's not going to be as much, but it's going to be just a bit. Because if you think about it, you have to look at scenarios if you were to replace certain people right now. If Bruce Arians was replaced by Bill Belichick, and he had Tom Brady, he had Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Antonio Brown, all these, the star talent, the great defense that he has. If Bill Belichick came to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and was the head coach, would they still win the Super Bowl? The answer is yes. I believe they would. I believe a lot of people would say that to be correct. Bruce Arians, very good coach, but I think that Bill Belichick has proven to be better uh, as of right now. So I think that Belichick could have won a Super Bowl if he was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, if you were to replace Tom Brady, Belichick is a coach, but you replace Tom Brady with someone like uh, one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, you know, one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL, Russell Wilson maybe even, would the Buccaneers still win the Super Bowl? The answer is yes. I 100% believe that if you replace Tom Brady with another top five quarterback in the NFL and Bill Belichick was the head coach, they would have won a Super Bowl. Because Brady signed with the Bucs, which smart on his part, to win another Super Bowl, great on his career, going to a place where he had weapons, and then other people seeing that and wanting to restructure their contracts to stay with Tampa Bay. Other uh, talented 
players getting released by their teams but wanting to sign with the Bucks for a little amount of money because all this talent wanted to come to Tampa Bay because Tom Brady signed there, you can't come to a conclusive conclusion and say that Tom Brady was the sole reason for the Patriots' success just because he won, yes, on his own, but you got to look at the roster. We saw what Tom Brady could do with the roster that they had with the Patriots, and what you can do with that roster is you can go 10-6, and six, you can make a wildcard spot, and you can lose in the wildcard round. That's what you can do, which is much better than what Cam Newton has done. Let's just acknowledge that. Cam Newton did not work out. That experiment was not great. They went 7-9, and nine, missed the playoffs. So Brady has proven with that roster, that pretty much the same roster that they had last season, uh, that they had this season, that he's proven that to, to be three games better than Cam Newton. That's the effect that he has on the Patriots as opposed to Cam Newton and the roster that they have. But if Belichick was given the same amount of roster that or the same kind of roster that the Bucs had, would we be talking about Belichick being the reason that the Patriots had so much success? I mean, I think that they would have a chance at making the playoffs or at least the Super Bowl. And I think that because of that, you can't come to, like I said, a conclusive saying and say which one was the reason for the success in New England. If Belichick had a similar roster, he'd win. He'd have a top five quarterback, a former top five pick at running back, three number one receivers, best tight end in NFL history, the best run defense, two of the best linebackers in the NFL, the defensive rookie of the year candidate in the secondary. That's what Belichick would have to work with if he had the Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster. If Brady had Belichick's roster, no standout receivers, disappointing running back room, your top wideout is 34 years old, no good tight ends, Brady would help the Patriots win maybe two or three more games, but that's it. Maybe 10-6 and and could miss the playoffs. Like I mentioned earlier, the greatest quarterback of all time, the greatest coach of all time, coming together to form a perfect marriage and a dynasty that lasted 20 seasons. Take them apart, away from each other, the greatest quarterback of all time has proven that he can win on his own. The greatest coach of all time, so far, hasn't. And a lot of that has to do with him being a general manager. Very, very poor job in recent years. Not wanting to draft a quarterback of the future. Not wanting to draft a uh, star-studded tight end that he had like in Rob Gronkowski and drafting failure tight end after failure tight end every single season. But as a head coach, if you were given the right pieces and a good roster, could Bill Belichick win on his own? The answer, in my opinion, I believe that he can. But he has to be given the right roster. However, so far, Brady has the upper hand, and he has the edge. But leave your comments down below and leave your thoughts. Do you feel like that it was just one person that was responsible for the Patriots' dynasty? Do you believe that it was Tom Brady? Or do you believe that both of them just clicked and just came together and something happened for them to be so successful for 20 seasons? Leave your thoughts and your comments down below.